Hello everybody and welcome to uh, what will be the preview of Train Sim World's first ever <coughs> Scottish route. Or well, Train Sim World 2's first Scottish route. Uh, we know we've got a lot of very excited people in the chat and thank you very much for bearing with us and uh, coming a little bit later than normal. Uh, let's face it, you didn't have anything better to do with your Friday nights anyway, did you? Then no. watch us. Uh, so I'm JD, I'm joined by, as ever, <coughs> the wonderful Matt tonight. Hello everybody, uh, I have fixed my microphone audio so uh, and it looks like it's deafening everybody so uh, if you need any or if you think the audio needs adjusting then I know you won't hold yourselves back and you will let us know. Brilliant. Uh, okay, so uh, we are going to be giving you a little bit of a top level view of the Cathcart Circle tonight. Uh, we're going to be doing two live streams for this. So we're going to be doing one which is very much of an introduction to the route tonight. Uh, we're going to be doing one of the branches uh, tonight and uh, we'll be doing the second one next week. Um, but we'll also be taking in some of your requests and questions to be able to answer in the next week's live stream as well. So I'm going to set a forum thread up after this that you can enter those questions and suggestions into so that we can make next week stream the best stream for you guys at home awesome uh, and i'm going to try and keep any accents or pronunciations that could be offensive to anybody tonight <clears throat> out of the window i'm th thankful uh thankful very much that we are uh not doing a german route tonight because as i say i think i've probably worn the patience thin of all of the uh the german players that we have <laughs> awesome should we get started then, Matt? Yeah, absolutely. Right, okay. Let me take the cameras off the screen uh, so that you can see everything uh, as we go. Otherwise, I'm going to forget later on. So cameras are off the screen, so now you, now you can see uh, everything. So let's get started with a quick look, just a quick overview. Training, uh, the route introduction, and the uh, intro for the uh, the locomotive, the train itself, as usual. Scenarios, there are six scenarios around and around, which is the, the Cathcart circle in both directions. Uh, extra time is a football special. It doesn't actually go via that route. It's one of the things we need to fix. It goes up via, obviously, Mount Florida, which is where football special you'd expect to go. Um, uh, divergent is uh, uh, an interesting um, diverging path that doesn't go a normal way. Collector is a rescue pickup. Uh, Jack Day is uh, just really bad weather and again the path is not quite showing correctly on that. And uh, Pure Baltic <coughs> again is more bad weather because you know Scotland to be honest so it needs, it needs bad weather. Um, so uh, yes there's uh, there's six uh, fun scenarios there that uh, will, will keep you uh, will keep you busy. Timetable! So there is a rail tour service, which is where all of this lot is coming from. So you've got um, this is using the Northern Trans Pennine layer. Um, so you get two the two uh, these two services um, come with the uh, the Northern Trans Pennine layer, uh, and that will then bring in some of the other trains like the twenty and thirty one, the thirty seven, and so forth. <clears throat> but obviously, the one that you're you're all here for yeah, is the three one four. So let us uh so the services are a mix so you've got shields depot which is here up into glasgow uh, and vice versa and then uh, later on in the day you've got uh, glasgow central to newton which is um the uh this branch over here uh you've got the um you can either a lot of the time you can either use either side so you can go via apollo shields west or apollo shields east so there's different variations on the journey uh as well um and we've got where's the Nielston service? Uh, I'm blind. I'm clearly blind. There you go, Nielston. So you got Nielston, and again, pathing's not quite showing up right. They just go straight on. They don't go over there. Um, <clears throat> so, so total service count uh, with these layers is currently showing us 209. I don't know if that will remain exactly 209, but it'll be in and around that number. This is dev build. So I want to be really clear. This is a dev build. Uh, and there is still a little bit of ongoing work going on with this. Um, so uh, um, expect that number to vary, um, but by, you know, one or two, you know, it'll be in the, in the same order. Um, now, there's, without further ado, so there's a big range of services. And one of the nice things about this route is it's, <coughs> it's self-contained. So uh, you'll be going uh, from Glasgow round the circle back up to Glasgow. And you can do that lots of times. Glasgow to Newton, back to Glasgow. Glasgow to Neilston, back to Glasgow. So the, the, these are, it's self-contained. So in and out, in and up and down, round, round. Uh, and you can kind of do that as much as you like. So let us do a uh, something like, I don't know, where's a Glasgow to Glasgow? There's one there, two Lima, one nine. And let's do that one and see what happens. 
just while we're waiting for this one to load um if you haven't already checked them out on the website there are a couple of articles now that we've put live um over the last couple of days actually so if you've not checked on the website the last couple of days you might miss them there's an introduction to the root article there's also a really interesting driver's eye uh, article as well we've interviewed one of the scots rail team um about the route and uh he gives some really interesting insights as to what that what a day in the life is like and uh and gives you kind of a yeah what driver's eye is kind of a good way of putting it really uh just a little bit more inside information on what goes on in the uh in the cab uh there in the cab car uh when you are uh driving a loco like this right let's just go ahead and uh check the rear of the train then we'll come back oh, hello people <laughs> Uh, and the release date at the moment, uh, not the release date at the moment, the release date for this route is June the 10th. Uh, it is available to pre-order on Steam right now. Uh, what I will say is, uh, assume that this, uh, as you're seeing it right now, for the purposes of this preview, if you are looking at sort of pre-ordering or anything like that, assume this is the kind of thing that you're going to be getting on launch. There are still a few little tweaks here and there that we might make, uh, including, I know that the audio team are looking at a couple of bits in particular, yeah. um, but uh, the, assume this is as it is for the time being, and uh, we uh, and base your decision on, on that. Yeah, we don't want to promise anything and, and uh, then not live up to wildly unfounded promises, so... Uh, you know, like I said, the audio, as, as JD says, the audio team are still working on it. But uh, look at it from this perspective. Let me just check my audio is actually turned up. Because sometimes I turn it down because I'm busy doing other things. Right, there we go. There we go. <coughs> right, let's crank okay. it up to eleven, shall we? The locked doors button's up here. Oh, very Which tall. Is, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, unusual, different, and slightly a pain in the neck. Actually, we've got DR. We've got a red light up ahead here, so we need to hold, hold tight. Yeah, should we get the route map in up? my way? Oh no, we've got the green light now. Right, so brakes off. Let's do some audio outside. Some people in the chat. Oh, I haven't shut the cab door. Mr. Tickles the driver. Terrible. Oh, you, you can also um, you can also open that one as well. Before Don't worry, we Tom Gear Dog. We, we will do the horn later on. Don't you worry. Let's get AWS, TPWS, all operational. Right. Okay. Trains sounds seem to be a little bit quiet at the moment. They were a lot louder when I was looking at them the other day, or yesterday rather, so I don't quite know why they're a bit quiet, but um, they are there. Uh, let me get the window open as well. And uh, we have a Scottish announcer as well. Yep, Scottish announcer. Yes, you can turn on the fan. Because <laughs> I can't hear the audio. Bit. Okay, I can't can... hit you, unfortunately, Matt, uh, Matt. So I, you're going to have to guide me as to when I should and shouldn't talk. As we said, we are looking at the audio mix at the moment, and there are a few things that the, the team are looking at. Um, prior to release uh, but yeah assume for the for the time being that as I say we don't want to over promise anything so assume this is what um, the 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 loco will be like uh, on release and if we can get those audio uh, mixes in audio fixes in then we will absolutely do so Like something not quite right there with the timetable either. It should have been giving me that green all along. All right, I'll make a note of that. It's amazing what changes in a day. This worked fine <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> right, so we're coming out of Glasgow. We're heading south. Let's have a look at the route map. This is the route map. Um, 
that's a nice networky type route. So this is Shields Depot over here. Uh, this is Glasgow up here. Um, and then this is the Cathcart Circle around here uh, with Pollock Shields east and west. Uh, then you have got uh, Newton here and you've got Neilston there. Show you the depot. Oh, so I was going to ask you about the depot actually, Matt. What's, uh, what, what's the depot used for? Depot is, is where the 314s are all based. Um, so they begin their day there, end their day there. Um, and uh, the operation's interesting because there's no western entry into this. They come out to this um, head shunt here and then come back out the other way, uh, which is quite interesting. So um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's good. That's there uh, for, uh, for use and it's built into the service mode. And the scenarios use it as well. Someone's asked about 313 coming out with this route. No, it's not coming out with this route. We have the 314. Yeah, this is the 314. Which, Matt, you were telling me is also um, was modelled uh, prior to the 313 as well, wasn't it? Yeah, this is the one we built first, yeah. Yeah. I know it's not how it looks in the roadmap, because Cathcart will add it onto the roadmap quite a bit after the 313 but uh, the uh, the reality of development and this is one of the things that Sam's looking to to clarify better by how we add things to the roadmap um, is that uh, yeah the 314 come for, came first nice one and how long how long is the, the route in total with all the branches included within it I can't remember 20 25 miles something like that I can't remember um, um, depending on how I measured it I think one way I measured it, it seemed to be 20 and another way it seemed to be 25 so but it call it call it in that order Derek says 20 miles I think our article yeah. said 20 miles I mean I, I asked you the question but I do have the answer from the steam page oh, okay. it's tw 20 miles 32 kilometers uh, so um, yeah it, it but it feels it feels like a because it's such a uh, there are so many stops and it's it's quite intricate, isn't it? It feels like it's it's a lot longer than that, I think, as well. This is, you know, the easiest way to think about this route, if you're trying to sort of conceptualise it in your mind, is think about it like a big baker loop. You know, it's it's stations that are quite close together, like in similar sort of distances, you know, some are particularly, you know, once we're now out of um, Glasgow Central, um, again, some of these stations are 600 yards apart. Um, which, you know, particularly on the circle, um, they get a little bit further apart once you come off the circle, but even so. So in this relatively sort of condensed um, bit of space, you've got quite a lot of um, stations and a lot of stop-start going on. Absolutely. Um, sorry, I was just uh, taking a look at some of the questions in the chat straight away. Uh, we're getting some. Uh, as much as I love the the massive pink cursor, Matt, we're, we're getting some requests to take the the pink cursor away from yeah. uh, from the screen. <laughs> just as our just as our, our our ugly mugs are uh, are off the screen, we're trying to get the cursor off as well. Yeah, I try keep trying to remember. Every time I move the cursor, it reappears. So I have to keep remembering to get rid of it. Doors open. Have a look around the station. Not planning on keeping to time on this run. Show you around. So this is one of the collectibles, and we love it. We think it's possibly the greatest collectible oh, ever put so in the game. Good. It's just so good. It just screams cute, um, and it is a flower planter. So cute. The one at, um, I had a quick look, and the one at Glasgow is called Barry. <laughs> which i think is great um but we did have a lot of love for the choo choos uh on uh on the forums people were asking if there was a choo choo livery designer which i am all for that would be awesome why didn't that come up in the product design spec <laughs> genuinely though i think that is 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 fantastic it's those little touches i think that just kind of set it apart and give give that kind of a little bit of personality to the route that i think a lot of people who go on that route every day or are very familiar with the route, I think it just kind of encapsulates that, which is really great. Let's just uh, get back to my train and have a look at another station. What's the frequency of services? I couldn't tell you the exact frequency of services. Um, if you go back to the beginning when I showed the uh, timetable, um, then you can uh, you can have a quick look there. It's, it's frequent. I think I think it's the full time table. Um, 
Right. A few people asking um, about if you can uh, change the destination. Uh, no, you can't. The destinations change automatically. This is a, a limitation of the PIS system that we've got at the moment. It gives us more flexibility overall and gives us the platform information systems. Um, but the um, currently we uh, it's lost then the system that allows you to customise it on the train. But it is something we want to uh, bring into add-ons at some point. So uh, yeah, bear with us on that. Um, but we, we know we have heard you. We know what you want. Um, but it's not in this one. Thanks to our, our mods who are watching uh, today uh, for sort of accumulating all of those questions. We do try and get as many as we can do over the course of the stream, um, but sometimes they do go quite quickly. So thanks very much, mods, for picking that one up for us. Um, they will, uh, where possible, uh, give you answers to your questions that they know the answers to. But given this is a preview stream and a lot of the things I'm learning as we're going on the stream, uh, I think that having those answers right now will probably be quite difficult. So, uh, yeah, if they do, if they do give, uh, give you a response, it's probably the right one. Uh, so PIS in this build is not working. It will be working in the shipping build. Um, it's a, uh, a a glitch in the matrix uh, has meant that all of the due times. You'll notice I've not got any due times in the top left corner. Um, they vanished. Um, that was fixed today, but is not in this build. Um, so uh, yes, that will that they will be coming. Uh, they were there for a while and then vanished. Um, someone said doors in the void. I I'm not quite sure what you mean. Um, put the chair down as well if you want to. Um, Michael just asked about the stop time at the stage. I think that's literally what we just said, wasn't it, Matt? About the that this is a dev build. Uh, this has been fixed this morning, uh, but obviously we want to show you what we what we currently got at the moment, um, and that will be in the uh, the build. Yeah, the that build that fixes that is probably building right now, actually. Um, so uh, I'll be uh, checking that that one up later on. Just about every station I think has got one of those planters on it. I think Glasgow's got two or three even. The door control panel at the cab door, uh, yes, I believe that works as well. I'll go and have a look. I believe... I think to use that one you need to put this in. And then you can use this. There you go. You've also got TPWS temporary isolation up here as well. So that works, you can use that. I'll take the key out. Alright, let's get going. So at the moment, um, Matt, when we when we launch there will be the three one four and that will be the uh, the loco that is on this route. Now um, we are looking so when because we I assume we'll stop off at Glasgow at some point where's this run ends we started and ends at Glasgow yeah yeah so we'll take a look around Glasgow station yeah. as a whole but you just you might see that there's uh, not that much traffic coming out of Glasgow at the moment that's because the uh, the loco that obviously we're on at the moment is the only one that's currently in train sim world 2 which would go from Glasgow so it might look a little bit empty but the hope is that over the course of however many next few years that we do we start building more locos and stuff that we can start adding them into the, the station as well yeah yeah as it stands and one of the nice things is that the way that the the Cathcart services are naturally timetabled they don't just use the same two platforms or same three platforms um, they actually tend to turn up at all sorts of different platforms during the day so um, uh, given journeys will have different um, start and end times. Uh, sorry, different platforms that you turn into. So that at least means that uh, you're going to get at least see some different. You'll see arrive at some different platforms in Glasgow rather than the same ones, and that's just how it really works. So that was that was a, a nice bit of variety that's already built into reality. Some people are asking about the price as well. Um, it, it will be uh, 25 or 24.99 pounds. Um, I'm not quite sure what the conversions are in different currencies, but if you go onto Steam and download it or pre-order it on Steam at the moment, you get a 10% discount 
um, for when it launches on the, the 10th of June. So it'll be 25 pounds. Um, I'm trying to remember what the general conversions are, but I don't want to get it wrong. So assume it will be the same as a, a piece of add-on that would, you would normally get for the equivalent of 25 pounds. Um, I don't think there will be any changes to uh, euros or dollars uh, and what that would normally be. I can't remember exactly what that is and I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, guys, we're going to try and cover as many questions as we can tonight, um, as well as giving you kind of yeah this overview of the the route. We do have another live stream next week, next Thursday at uh, seven UTC, I believe, um, in which case uh, seven PM UTC, uh, and we're going to try and answer any questions that we're not able to answer in this stream. We're going to open up a forum thread so that you can ask anything that you would like to ask, uh, and get anything like if there's anything that you would particularly like to see that we can't cover tonight, um, let us know on that thread, and we'll try and shape the stream around you and your questions next week yeah totally let us know what you'd like answers to what you want to see so it's only 400 yards to the next station we only just left the last one so when we're on the Cathcart circle you really are driving something much more akin to a like a Bakerloo style service Guard signal, which one was that one? And I know that the audio guy was putting it in. I don't know if it's in yet, though. Oh, hello. It's closed doors. I don't know where the guard signal is. That one. Uh, and um, just to answer on Xbox, PlayStation, uh, we get this asked every time. Um, but uh, we have a lot more flexibility with what we can do with uh, Steam. That's why we're able to do the pre-order discount. Um, sadly, on the uh, Xbox Store and PlayStation Store, we don't have quite as much flexibility, unfortunately. And that's also why you'll see um, the, uh, the Xbox and PlayStation going live at midnight on your time zone um rather than uh steam which is a lot later on in the days because it's normally unlocked manually by the the team at, at valve so uh, a little bit of an inside uh information on there but that's kind of essentially where where we're coming from we have uh, we don't have as much flexibility sadly with uh, with those two providers so uh w but we do have that with steam yes phenomenal driving i'm nailing it absolutely <laughs> nailing it it's all good so the uh, Jabba is, is yeah, gone, sorry. Yeah, Jabba said you've not read you've not read today's article where the driver said to brake well in advance. Yes, no, no, no. I did actually read the article. I read it earlier on. Clearly it hasn't sunk in. <laughs> uh is this uh so uh, is there anything from a PS five Xbox Series S point of view that's worth noting here, or is it very much similar performance across different consoles? I mean it, it, I mean ex this, expect the same level of difference as you would from any other add-on there at the moment tsw can't do different things on the on the next gen consoles um so um yeah it'll be it'll run faster on a series x or a ps5 than it does on the equ equivalent current gen console so uh but we haven't done anything specific uh on that stuff i think between the next stations might be good sound horn we're getting some horn requests and i'm sad that i can't hear them but I will let you do the honours. Done the horn. Right, what I'm going to do is go outside so we can watch the doors open, get out of the way camera. Yeah, I did, did a good stop there. We're nearly going to go stop. It wasn't perfect. Uh, this is a <laughs> PC serious beast. I wasn't quite hooked up for doing a, um, a console demo tonight. Rude. We'll do console next week, though. Yep. Right, off to Cathcart.
Okay, so we are now at the bottom end. So this is actually really complex, really interesting bit of track work. Uh, and we're coming into Cathcart, and that's where we will then turn and head back to Glasgow. So we're almost at the halfway mark on our little journey around the circle. By the looks of it, we've got a thousand people watching as well, which is always very nice. Hello, everybody Welcome, at home. Everyone. It's nice to see that uh, us being a little bit later than usual hasn't stopped you coming out today, which is nice. 20 limit, yeah. Totally missed the 20 limit. But that's okay. Because <laughs> I'm allowing it. It's fine. We got down to 20 before any serious problem. DSD is turned on, <laughs> though clearly SS SXD. One thing that's really worth noting, and we've made this mistake ourselves, um, is DSD and DVD are two different systems. This train does not have a DVD. Now, DVD, driver vigilance device, is the one that peeps, uh, goes beepy after about 30, 60 seconds or so, and you have to keep you know, pressing the Q key to reset it. This train only has a DSD, which is a driver's... Um, Safety device. Sorry, my brain stopped there for a minute. Um, so, um, actually, there is nothing to acknowledge. You, um, essentially, what will happen here is if I stand up, you see the brakes have come on. That's driver safety device. If you don't step on the foot, the brakes come on. So it has that, uh, and that was switched on by this lever up here, this switch up here. That turns that on. So if you don't like that, you can turn it off. If what you want to do is drive the train and uh, go for a wander down the passenger and say, hi passengers, how are you doing today? And then for them to say, well, hang on, who's driving the train? No, it's fine, it's self-driven. You know, you can do that. You know, you can make believe that that's a thing. Um, um, but yeah, if you turn on DSD, then you can't stand up. But there is no every 30 second alarm. There's a lot of uh, VHS Blu-ray jokes in the chat when you were talking about DVD. Yeah, I, was, I, I was giggling a little bit in the chat. I'm not going to lie, I have, the, I have the same thoughts rolling around in my head. <laughs> uh, oh, there was a question I was going to say. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, um, people have asked if uh, the PIS will be fixed for next week's stream. I would assume probably yeah. if we're looking to put it in the I release mean, build, then yes. I'm hoping it's fixed in the build I test tonight. And if it isn't, the words what we had. <laughs> but no, I'm confident I was told it was fixed, so. So you get the opportunity to see that next week. That's the reason to tune in next week, everyone. There you go. Uh, it'll be Nat it'll be Nat and Matt, and you know it'll be good because they both rhyme. It's always a good it's indication. It's always a good start. It's always a good start when it all rhymes. So we had a, uh, we've clearly got, we picked up something in front of us, which is uh, causing us some uh, delays. It's because you missed the 20 speed, uh, the 20 speed limit, Matt. Probably, probably. Um, someone's asked this Hampton Park models. I, I, as a football fan, I would quite like to know that actually, to be honest. Hampton Park. Where, where is it? Where, where, where would I see? Uh, that would be, that be the, that would be the football stadium. Because is that uh, not that Mount would, Florida? That, sorry. Yeah, that'd be round that way. Yeah. So we'll be stopping on it next. So this is Mount Florida. Maybe the next one's Ham Hamden Park. Hamden Park. Are we sure it's Hamden Park? That's on East Coast Way. Yeah, I mean, Park I should probably know what the stations are on this route, <laughs> but clearly I don't. Um, it's the uh, Scottish National Football Stadium. You also have Celtic Park and Ibrox as well for Rangers and Celtic, but I don't believe they will feature. I don't think you can see the football stadium from here. Seems weird to have it just this kind of residentially area. 
Yeah, we're kind of winding our way around this sort of built-up area. Uh, close the doors, that one right there. Does the car buzzer work? It does. Although there is no active guard, these are DOO. Uh, the guard generally um, is there to um, look after the passengers on these trains, but the, and the driver operates the doors, so these are operated as DOO. Next station is Cross Hill. I'm disappointed you didn't try the Scottish accent for the uh, for the announcement. Well, I might forget. Uh, my restraint at some point and accidentally do the Scottish <laughs> accent, but I'm, I'm you, doing my you're best. You were saying about, yeah, you were saying about you lived in, uh, well, around Scotland uh, for for a while. I did. I, li I just lived in the Shetland Islands, so kind of skipped over Scotland, but came obviously had to go back through via Aberdeen um, frequently to uh, to get to get down into uh, the southern lands of in England. Um, but uh, yeah, we lived up in, uh, in up, up up north. Up the north of the north, shall we say, uh, for a good three or four years. Really liked it. I love Scotland. I've only ever been to Edinburgh. Um, sorry, glass Norwegians in the chat. Uh, I've only ever been to Edinburgh. Edinburgh was lovely, though. Would recommend. Got to feed penguins at Edinburgh Zoo. Oh, right. Uh, does the Pantograph's Arkenspark? No, we don't have um, the uh, Arkenspark stuff actually uh, implemented as yet. Um, the tech is there for it. it it's um, um, waiting for the uh, art time to uh, to make it look good. Uh, and the other thing is that if you add something that sparks and flashes, then for accessibility reasons, you need to have a setting to stop it doing that. Uh, because what you don't want to do is uh, make someone's um, day unenjoyable and have they give them a bad day by flashing things on the screen and not warning them about that and giving them the opportunity to turn it off so there's a few more things to think about um, rather than just make it work but something we want to do and we have started won't be for this though just to be clear uh, John this is on PC at the moment uh, not Xbox One we'll be doing a console next week so you can see what it's like on a console too Dumfries Rail fan asks, "Can we walk? Can you walk around Glasgow Station much?" He lives in the Carlisle direction, and it terminates at Glasgow Central and Carlisle. Uh, yeah, we're actually going to be arriving back at uh, um, Glasgow shortly. Uh, we're on our way back northbound now on the on the on the Cathcart Circle, um, and. Uh, No, I was going to get some brew model MS, but I've I've been out um, in in um, in the, in sort of the, in the London lands today doing some filming, and uh, uh, unfortunately, this is why the stream is running a bit later than normal. Um, um, going to the shops and being prepared and planning ahead, pff, these things don't happen with me. You should know that. We were going to go full for uh, the whole Hulk here, really, when we were going to go for the Iron Brew, have the have the Haggis, go for the Kilts, uh, get the Sporans out. But we thought, no, let's let's just be us and let's save the fireworks maybe for next week when uh, when Nat can be the one that gets all of the angry messages. No one needs to see me in a kilt. Just just saying. That's horrifying. <laughs> Yeah, my, in the next MCU film, yeah, I earn, man. Yeah. So, yeah, this is coming on June the 10th. Uh, you can pre order it if you are a Steam user right now and get a 10% discount. Um, what we are showing you today is the current dev build. Um, so, if you are basing a decision on whether you want to get this or not, um, assume for the purposes of this that it's going to stay exactly the same we want to try and improve it. we want to try and uh, give it 
a little bit of extra polish uh, but at the moment we will not promise anything just in case for whatever reason it doesn't end up happening but there will be another preview stream next week yeah you can, so you can see kind we have got to you can, yeah so um if you want to hold out to then that's absolutely fine pollock shields and then i think glasgow Moggy, I do not doubt you have the legs and the figure to wear a kilt. <laughs> I don't think there are any six-car services. There are plenty of six-car scenarios, though. Oh, it doesn't take too long to run the circuit. Um, and it's about 35 minutes or so. There is one scenario where you do the circuit twice. So you go Glasgow um, and you go anti-clockwise. Uh, I think, and then you go back clockwise again the other way round, or the other way, I don't know, one of those two. Um, so you go two different ways in there, and that's a 70 minute scenario, so, you know, it's um, it's uh, it can take up plenty of time, because you're stopping all the time. I think it feels like quite a sedate route, but at the same time, because it's such a condensed route, it feels quite intense as well. It's kind of a weird combo of uh, kind of this passenger loco that feels very still a little bit chilled so this is the um, the other line that we took a minute ago where we came in and went off to the right um so that's the the other half of the loop so we're now joining back up and we're on the corridor back into glasgow now one of the other things by the way that works on this is the train stop override so if you've got tpws enabled and if for any reason you need to run a red light, as you do in one of the scenarios, you must use the train stop override or you will get stopped. Of course, if you haven't enabled TPWS, then that's not going to happen. You will find you don't have to remember that. But if you have enabled TPWS, you do need to remember the uh, correct process for uh, going through uh, a red light. Mm. Uh, but a couple of people have asked for the uh, route to be shown again, uh, the route map to be shown. So we'll do that when we get into Glasgow. We'll also do a little tour of the station. Um, there's a couple of people that have asked to do a six car, t six car timetable. Uh, no, so there's no six car services that I'm aware of. No, uh, this is where we are now. We so we've gone all the way around the circle, and we're now back on the corridor up into Glasgow, uh, in the north here. Michael's recommended. Michael's recommended external camera coming into Glasgow. Yeah, excellent. Oh, Michael, since you're there, can you just confirm for me that the um, there are no six car services? I think that's right, isn't it? Do correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> There's also a couple of request questions uh, for. Uh, Glasgow at night as well. Um, I don't know if we want to do that maybe next week. We'll do some night stuff. Which we want to uh, do that tonight. Yeah. Well, we can give a quick look at night um, and uh, maybe do a, a little bit um, in uh, in night. Um, actually, what I quite like is um, running at night and in the rain because this route looks really pretty in the rain because the platforms have got water settings on them. Um, so uh, coming into Glasgow, by the way, is just especially at night. It's just look at all these lights. It's ridiculous. Hmm. And Derek's asked, why is this route picked to be the first Scottish route for train sim world? It's an interesting question. I, I, again, I don't know the answer to this, Matt. Is there is there any kind of is there a particular reason why we chose this route over any of the other ones? Well, I mean, a route like Edinburgh Glasgow is significantly longer, um, and in order to get anything, um, you know, it needs it needs a lot more to make it uh, achieve what it's uh, what it needs to do. Um, Whereas this being a smaller route, you can achieve a complete route, um, you know, with, with, within this uh, this length. That doesn't. It's no really not really any less in terms of stations. It's probably similar than the Glasgow Edinburgh in terms of numbers of stations, and that's actually where a lot of the complexity in route building comes. Um, but it's it's a small contained route which can have longer experiences as well as having the shorter ones. It's just a really nice sort of um, first uh, first thing um, thing to get into. Yeah, and again, I assume if this one um, were to, to go well, as we really hope it does, then this opens the door for future Scottish routes and at some point um, down down the line. Oh, I absolutely dearly want to see Edinburgh Glasgow. Dearly, dearly, dearly. 
along with some of like the Highland lines and uh, things like that, that are just the different scenery. Um, the West Highland line, the the extension, the um, the Highland line. You know, there's uh, there's some um, really nice lines running up to Inverness and so forth. So there's lots of interesting things that we can do um, uh, going forwards. Uh, but this was a uh, a nice place to start, and it, you know, it gets us it gets us Glasgow with this really really iconic gantry which if you know Glasgow you know this gantry hmm. I think there's a train at my platform which is super frustrating yeah there is get out of my so platform in, so inconsiderate inconsiderate well, so many platforms I mean, picked mine uh, Hugh asked how long is this route I think we said it's about 20 miles um uh, While we're waiting on the trial branches. map, there you go. So, Glasgow is up here. Uh, you've got Shields Depot running down here. Um, then you've got the main line which runs down here, and then you've got the loop here. The circle is a circle, well, except for the pinch at the top. Um, and then you've also got the line to Newton running out to here, and to Neilston uh, running out to here. And there is facility. So one of the, the rail tours, for example, runs from Neilston across this bridge line and out to Newton. So you can run there. Um, you've got services which run, say, from Newton up the east or the west um, branches, um, uh, lines of the Cathcart going up to uh, Glasgow. Uh, and you've also got, there's a, um, a scenario where you start here and you have to run down this bit of track which is sort of a lesser used bit of track um, to go and couple up to a failed train and then bring it back and that's the one where you have to pass this signal which will be at red because of the um, this train sat here uh, you have to request permission to proceed then use the TW TPWS override um, to go through and couple up to it nice um, there's someone in the chat that's worked as a ticket examiner on this route which is cool uh, they're, they're talking about sort of the, some of the memories that uh, they've had going around uh, on this particular route, and they're Here talking about some of. Where are we? Uh, I've completely lost it, but uh, I'm sure you can see them in the chat. Lots of numbers I seem to remember. Um, where does the rail, serv rail tour service go through though? I'm not sure I understand what you're, what you're asking, Senor Snore. It's, there's two rail tour services. One of them is Glasgow to Neilston, and the other one is Neilston to Newton. Hmm. Senor Snore, I remember you from the quiz. Uh, he was my, my chosen uh, selected member of the, uh, member of the community to, to, to egg on and, and try and get as high up the table as they could. And they, I wanted them to finish in the top 100 and they finished 101st. No. So just, just to spite me. So send your snore. I've not forgiven you just yet. Which we will be doing again, by the way, if you're interested, we'll be doing another one in June, um, which I think it would be a couple of weeks time. So uh, that'll be on Twitch. New Q La asks, would it be crazily far-fetched to imagine some routes to one day con to connect to one another to allow for longer scenarios and more diversity? Uh, so Sam and I have talked about this a number of times uh, on the uh, on some of the other streams. Um, is it far-fetched? No. Uh, is it on any kind of roadmap at the moment? Is nobody nobody is working on it? No. Um, the um, um, there are, there are a lot of complexities and there's like the, the the easier way of doing it which is going to be less satisfying for everybody which is just to basically make them as extensions in the sort of the uh the more traditional sorry i just pressed the button and it uh, uh it bloomed at me um because i was clearly focused on the wrong thing never mind um but the uh, the ideal way of doing it is where you can get buy a route A and you can buy route B, and those two are two separate routes and they run great. But then client side on your game, they snap together and they become the bigger route A dash B dash essentially. Um, so um, and then you can drive trains across them. So that's kind of like what I'd like to do, but um, that that also is the super super complicated version. So, 
Not any time near in the future, then? No. No, not any time near in the future. Because we were getting asked questions about um, Brighton Mainline, East Coastway as well, weren't we, with the rush hour announce? So, London, yeah, London, Brighton and um, East Coastway. But as I say, it's, it's a bit more complicated than, than just sort of putting them together as two kind of Lego pieces. Hmm. I don't think there is TPWS over speed grids, no. I know that's something the team have been working on, but I don't think they went into this build. Right, let me uh, return to free roam and let us have a, a wander. Cool. Uh, will this be livery designer compatible? It will. Nice. It's almost like you know those route maps are going to be there, Matt. I actually don't. And if I see one, I just I... run for it. <laughs> It really, you know, I kind of get it tuned into my head now to look for empty posters, which messes me up when I go actually out into that real world place and I see an empty poster. <laughs> and my brain goes, ah, you've got to go and get that. And people just look at me funny when I walk up to an empty poster and have a frown on my face. Um, love these buffers. How many stations does, sorry, platforms even, does um, Glasgow Central have? I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Lots. That many. We've seen eight. Oh, numbers to eight, but that looks like more than eight. Yeah, this is, this is going down to four, three, two, uh, and one, and we can get to those by wandering around out here. Oh, look. <laughs> um, let us wander back. Now, you can only go up to about... Here. This is where the uh, the uh, thou shalt not marker is. <laughs> um, keep wandering up here. So that's platform eight, and then over here you've got um, uh, eleven through lots more. Um, Seventeen platforms in total, apparently. Fifteen high level, two low level. There you go, and there's up to fifteen. And when it works, obviously, PIS up there. Tremendous station for the uh, for the team to model. Um, but uh, it's come together really nicely. Of course, it's got this really nice iconic archway at the end here. If I just run out the other side and look back so that you can see where it's, uh, it says uh, Central Station. on the track then. Oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah it's a it's a lovely model. Um, right let's have another drive and this time we will do let's do Newton to Glasgow because we've seen the fist bit so we'll do the new bit first. Newton to Glasgow is what we want uh, we'll and this time you know what let's just put it in, in rain, wet uh, and a bit of wind and a bunch of cloud. That looks nice and cheerful, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> so let's put this... Uh, so we want to go from Newton and let's go via West. Newton to Glasgow via Pollock Shields West, I think. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Go for it. Uh, Davidoff's asked the voice announcements on this route. Yes, they are, in a lovely Scottish accent as well. Okay. Uh, what I, Go on, so what I, Just before we get started on this, um, we're aware there's loads and loads of questions. Great, that's that's brilliant. We are. That's why we're here to try and answer as many as we possibly can do. There will be some we can't answer tonight. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a forum thread for you all uh, to chuck them in there, as well as any requests for anything you'd like to see. Uh, what we'll try and do with next... Oh, wow, that is a lot of rain. Uh, when we get there and uh, do the uh, preview stream next week, we'll try and cover as much of that as we possibly can do. Um, so most, people, most people, when they arrive in Scotland, the first thing they say is, wow, that's a lot of rain. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, we will do our best to get as much done as we can tonight. But obviously there is another stream next week as well where we can cover some of the other bits that we're not able to get to tonight. Well, at least that's what I, I used to say it a lot when I lived up in that way. It seemed to be raining all the time. To be fair, that has been most of the UK, though, for most of May, so... Um... <laughs> OK, let's get going. I have to close the doors first, Matt. Come on, with it. And we also need some safety systems on. Stop half for jobbing. We need some cab heat. Let's put the cab heater on low and see how we get on. Back and forward. Apparently Glasgow is the rainiest city in the UK. You wouldn't think it, would you? <laughs> and apparently the passengers don't have umbrellas either. That's sad for them. Oh, that is a good shot, that is. That reflection. Somebody's asked if we can see the gangways moving in a curve. Can we see that when we go around a corner? Oh, the tension's killing me. There we go, you saw a little bit of it just then. Slow. Okay, that's the other slow. Oh, I see. Matt, are you getting a couple of Discord notifications? Because I am, but I don't think that they're coming up on my. Uh, I'm not. They're in, you're not recording anything apart from my mic, are you? Uh, yeah, I'm only recording your microphone. Yeah. So, I had a couple of Discord notifications, but I don't think they would have popped up in the audio. Um, oh, um, no, I've got nothing showing us in my in my Discord. I'll close Discord uh, so that we don't ruin the experience for anybody. That's probably because my microphone, I think, is I'm, I'm not holding the microphone in the proper place. Hopefully that's better. Right, let's get stopped. This is Kirk Hill. Derek's asked if there are any level crossings on this route. Are you? I'm not 100% sure, honestly. I don't think Maybe they so. are. I don't remember seeing them when I've been driving it. <laughs> I'm not I'm just imagining you when you go out to like when you're in like a real train station just running up to these blank posters and just going up and hugging them. Yeah. Just tapping them. Or doing what I did in that HST video. Stroking them <laughs> nicely. And everyone staring at me going, <laughs> weird. <laughs> All right. No, don't open the door again. Right, let's close the doors. So, so where are we uh, at the moment? We started here at Newton. We are round up here, and we are on our way this way. We're then going to carry on going that way, all the way round. Bearing in mind, we came this way down here first, so we're going to go back up this way round. So you see it from a different direction. It's like a whole new route. Um... Apparently the article published today, if you haven't read it, it's a really good read by the way. Um, uh, they mentioned that the, these trains will spin. Um, does it in-game with the full throttle on? 
I've, it's, I've, I mean, I've just done that and it hasn't. So uh, I must admit, having read that article today, I'm going to have a chat with the physics person. But it may be that actually, the, with where they're, see, the way rain works is that in a situation like this where it's all full rain, what it actually does is the adhesion of the track actually comes back up to being not too bad again because it washes the slime off the track. Um, and it's that initial drizzle, the really light rain, that actually is the, is the worst. And I must admit, I've not tried that. Um, so I'm going to do that and, uh, and test it in the winter as well and just see how it is. And I'll feed that, um, that feedback from Ian over to the, uh, the physics person as well. I know a adhesion has been set up on it, um, but I must admit, I've not seen it wheel slip myself yet. Um, Solaris has asked, how long is the longest scenario? Well, I guess the longest scenario. 70 or so minutes. I'll, I'll run them. If, so, if you remind me before we finish, I'll just bring them all back up to look at them again. Sure. Uh, will you ever get round to doing Glasgow Central to Nielsen? So it's in the route, uh, King Lego. I'm just not going to run it tonight. We'll run that on the next stream. And they said, he said, if you do, can't wait. Well, hopefully that will mean that you are then very excited. Uh, we've had a, somebody ask, can you stand inside the gangway of the interior of the Class 314? Not while I'm driving. <laughs> that could be fun. Uh, we'll probably do the three one. We'll show the three one four in livery design, and maybe next week, um, so you can see what it's like in livery design. I think this week we'll probably do. Oh, this is fine. Quite, quite a long, <laughs> quite, quite a long way. Of it. <laughs> the S board means stop somewhere here, doesn't it? <laughs> that wet platforms. S is suggested stop thank you Moggy. He's not normally on my side, that's really surprising. <laughs> braking number is not shown on the HUD because the braking number on the HUD is meant to be electric brake, it's never been the air brake. So on German trains what you're actually seeing is the position of the electric brake, not the position of the brake. You'll see that it's showing up down here though, which is where it should show up. Um, so if I um, release the brake Oh, well, actually, this does have an electric brake, so you might be right. I'll, I'll ask the team, because it, it does have a... It has a blended brake, so it adjusts the electric brake dynamically. Um, it's uh, it's a little bit um, tricky, but uh, yes. That, that's normally why, though, because that's, res that's usually reserved for a dynamic brake handle. Whereas your actual combinations of brakes down here, like train brake, is this one. Next station, Crawford. I've been getting some really, really top quality stops and getting some gold medals and everything I've tested today. It's, it's, it's you lot that's the problem. Seriously. <laughs> it probably does show though that it is a bit of a challenge on this with this loco. Uh, and the, what the driver said on the uh, on the article today about just stopping perhaps a little bit earlier than you would normally do for a, than you think you should do even mm. um, comes into effect here. Yes, Jason, it is always someone else's fault. Good, good, good. As long as you're with me. All right, coming into Crawford now. There are already people suggesting that we do the four uh, the four up challenge on this route. Uh, which oh, I think totally. would be very interesting. Totally. We do what we do is the scenario where you go out and back twice, because then it's an, it's like a relay race. How fast can you change ends? Hey, go look, see. Can do it. 
Uh, destination boards are automatic. They are set according to what you're doing, uh, but it's automatic. There is um, currently no way um, for um, for these to be manually set in add-ons that we're making. But it is something we know you want, um, so it's on the team's list to look at. <laughs> People are saying you did well, but you didn't get the quite get the 500 points. Though it's only 498. Oh no, humiliated. <laughs> How fast can you change ends? Press control minus. Hey, you see, you've already failed then, Paul Fury. Because what you've forgotten to do is to shut down the cab. Yep. Right. Okay. Let's release the brakes. Adrian, we'll take a look at a list of the services at the end. Um, we showed them at the start of the stream, but we'll show them at the end as well so that you can see them. Taylor GB19 asks, are there any secret features? Nothing I can think it's of, written in, no. It's written in all caps as well, so we better answer it. There's nothing I can think of that the, that the team have added. Um, I don't even know if there's a donkey. I need to go and find out if there's a donkey on this route. Other than the one behind the cab. Joseph, it's going to be released on June the 10th, uh, so that is two weeks yesterday, um, so you've not got too long to wait. We'll do another preview stream next week uh, for the Cathcart, um, and we'll be taking as many of your requests as possible. In fact, you know what? I will put that thread live now. I'll chuck it in the, chuck it in the suggestions forum for you, and then I'll link it so that you can put in what you want to see um, and I'll just share that over to you all now uh, Kings Park Out. There's maps to place. <laughs> Didn't do it. Ah, oh, foiled! Foiled! <laughs> yeah, here we go. Satisfied. Quite why I'm not doing all of the really, really super visible planters. I don't know, but apparently, I just like walking into empty white boards. Yeah, you just magnetise to those white boards. Yeah, exactly. So we have improved the way some of these red lights are only going off when you close the door. Go, uh, going off when you close the doors. Uh, that is one of the other things that's being improved um, in the update that's uh, hopefully building at the moment. Obviously, you should never be closing your doors on a red light. That's just wrong. Alright, this is where we are. I don't know where we are. Hang on. Let's look this final on track on what we're doing. Right. Now, here we are here, look. So, this is where we're going to come round here and then uh, go past Cathcart Station um, and along to uh, the next stop up here. So, we can, if we jump outside, you can see Cathcart. I mean, not not well, but you <laughs> well, no, we haven't got there not yet. Through, not through the rain. Not through the rain. <laughs> not there yet. Not there yet. Uh, Toaster has asked if there's any level crossings. I believe the ticket inspector that was in the chat answered that question. Said there weren't any level crossings on this route. Now, I trust them because uh, they've run this pretty much every day for a while. So, um, but we will double check that. Um, but yeah, I don't I remember trust... seeing any. To be honest, in the drives I've done. Because as you can see, there's lots of bridges and uh, and so forth. There's Cathcart Station appearing out of the mist over here. With lots of drowned people. Right.
Cliffy Biro, reigning in Scotland, at least it's accurate. And I'm going to guess by the name that you are probably Scottish as well. So, uh, again, we have to take your word for it. So that track off the left there is the one going to Neilston. Uh, Daniel James put in the chat, his son is watching and really likes the blue barrel flower trains. They're it's really cool, aren't they, Daniel? Yeah, they're really uh, cool. We, when when the, the team were researching and they saw these things, they're like, they have to be the collectible, you know, the, the main collectible, and everyone fell in love with them. They're brilliant. The choo-choos. Uh, and if you missed it in the start of the stream, my, my one fact for this, this live stream is that the one in Glasgow is called Barry. Uh, Glasgow station is called Barry. So uh, that is lovely. We have the facts here on this stream. <laughs> Michael, I think we uh, answered this one not so long ago about the donkey in this route. I think we're just going to double check. Um, if we have it in there, we're not going to tell you. You have to find well, it. We'll tell you there is one at least, but not where it is. No one's told me where it is, so I'm not telling you. <laughs> Got my camera right at the level where the people are. So Good question. From... Go on, sorry. Good question from Taylor GB. Was it hard getting details on the Class 314? So, actually, we worked with uh, Armstrong Powerhouse um, um, for sounds, and uh, we've worked with Wagons, um, because Wagons uh, worked with AP to model it in uh, TS1. Uh, and so we were able to get um, access to um, their photo surveys, um, their research. So it's not their. I don't think this is based on their model, um, but we used a lot, of, a lot of their research and so forth as well. So we actually had some really good help uh, and advice from those guys uh, on that. Uh, so that's been uh, that's been really really useful, along with some of the the stuff that the team were able to dig up. But we weren't able to actually go and do a survey of the machine uh, of the train, whereas um, quite a while ago now, um, AP and wagons were able to go and do a survey. So we got the benefit of that essentially, which is really cool. It's great working with different part, uh, party developers, even if they're not producing content for Train Sim, they are really keen to uh, help us, um, you know, do the best we can on Train Sim World. Cool. Um, and can we turn on the FPS counter map, please? Just so. Bear in mind, I'm using a development build, um, and. Uh, that is going to bring the FPS down on this route, particularly at the moment. Um, so, uh, but I'm around 50 FPS at the minute. Why am I overshooting stopping points? Because I'm busy talking to you. He's not quite in the zone. No, I'm really not in the zone at all. Yes, the 314 uses AP sounds, yeah. I mean, they're implemented by um, Dovetail team, um, but the uh, sources uh, came, from, uh, came from AP. Don't blame me, don't blame chat. Yes, I'm blaming chat. Still coming in too hot again. <laughs> There's a planter right there. Yes, that planter's mine. Matt has a zone. Is it in the sea with fish fans? Ouch. 490 mats, not quite that magic 500 either. I know I cannot say anything after my performance in the uh, the four up challenge, but uh, the the chat are not the not chat are not impressed. The chat are not impressed. I oh, will. They want a, they want a, they want a 500. They want a 500. Any more? I should probably drive the train, shouldn't I? Okay, can you imagine if that happened in real life? Your, your driver just got off at the, the station and just started putting posters up and yeah. planting pansies. Well, it seems like a reasonable thing to do. It's just like, well, if you're, since you're going to all the station uh, stations, could you just... Yeah, yeah, I can imagine the response to that. Um, <laughs> right. 
Oh, actually, let's lock the doors just for the giggles. PIS screens um, will be there in the final release on Box Gamer, but in, the, in this build, unfortunately, there was a problem, uh, which meant that the, all the due times vanished, which kills off the PIS screens, as well as you can see in the top left corner, there's no, there's no times. So they would, be, uh, they would indeed be uh, uh, coming back. I'm hoping that build that fixes that is, is underway at the minute, so and a bit of a look at that tonight. But uh, no, you're not seeing working PIS at the moment, um, and uh, we would certainly be looking for that to be fixed. Uh, there are six car 314s in scenarios. Um, I'm not 100% sure why I didn't build the service mode on this one, but there are no six car in the service mode. This station was right on top of the other one. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can do this. Uh, so, uh, old Davy, someone mentioned about the wheel slip earlier on, and uh, I need to talk to the physics uh, engineer to understand what's actually happened there, um, because I, I'm not I'm not seeing it. Um, so I need to understand uh, whether that's correct for the circumstances we're in, or whether or not uh, there's an issue there. There we go. There's 500 AP for you. Did I get 500? You did. Wow! Oh, darn it. That wasn't what I planned. Okay, here we go, look. Bang. Ooh, newspapers. Oh, that'll do. Get back to the train. We've done our route tasks for this station. Some of them, anyway. Joseph Burst just asked how big is the map of the route. Um, I don't know if you quite mean how long is the route or if how big the actual map is, but there's the map. It's 20 miles long. There's both answers to that question. Hello. Right, coming up on Maxwell Park, which means there are uh, only a couple of stops from Glasgow now. King Lego, we'll do these last couple of stops, then we'll show you the services, and then we're going to be finishing for tonight. Yeah. Um, as we said beforehand, though, we have got another preview stream next week where we're going to go into what we haven't been able to cover today, uh, some new scenarios, some new weather conditions, perhaps. Um, let us know what you'd like us to do. Uh, we have a forum through, which I'll just put in the chat again now for what it is that you'd like to see or any questions that you would like answered, and we will do our best next week to make sure that we can do them chat someone now. said the services run on all the lines um yeah pretty much you can do the glasgow the cathcart circle in both directions you can do um either either side of the cathcart circle for i think both of the branches as well certainly for the newton I don't, i'm not sure about nielston no nielston can't because it isn't it isn't tracked that way um but um let me just get the doors open and i'll just wave my giant pink mouse over the uh, map and show you where things are um, so you can go uh, down and around and up that way. You can go back around and around that way. Uh, you can go down this side, out to Newton, and back up this side. Down this side, out to Newton, and back up this side, up to Newton. Down this way, and out to Neilston, and back up that way. And then there is uh, some services which run up and down this link line to Shields Depot. Um, and there is a scenario where you actually get to use this line going down here. Um, to uh, to do something a little bit unusual, which is rescue a failed train. Um, so this is the line. So that you'd use this line for coming from Newton to head up that way. So that's another way you can see. So pretty much almost every bit of track. I mean, this you can't use this bit. This is provided because it's part of scenery. But pretty much every bit of track from the Cathcart line itself is usable, more one shape or form or another. Don't worry, guys. We will show you the depot next week. Yes, you use 314 to rescue a 314, yeah.
Or I can would be possible to see the route without rain. Yeah, we did the route first of all. We did. Uh, we spent about half an hour at the uh, of three quarters an hour at the, the start, going through a route which wasn't in the rain. Uh, we're doing one in the rain now. We'll probably do a mix next week as well. Yep. AFS five. I would not expect to see the so adding adding six car services sounds like it'd be an easy job, but actually it's it's really quite difficult. Um, but so that's. Um, that, that's I would say that is highly unlikely to happen before release. The service, the class sixty six, I think, though, is is substituting in on the rail fans, uh, on the rail tour services. So it'd be two. There is no freight on this route. Please do not leave your luggage Oops. unattended on the station. Wrong doors. Luggage left unattended may be removed without Close the wrong doors. Destroyed or damaged by the security services. <laughs> and then open the right doors. First time lucky. There we go. I must admit, I've not uh, soggy final. I've not tried the, um, the the this train on a different uh, route to see what the destination board does. Um, it's not an LED display though, which I think is. So I don't know if this has been done as a font or as a texture. So if this is a texture, then uh, that wouldn't would mean it wouldn't work on other routes. Uh, but I will uh, I'll have to find it out. Oh, Michael says the Class 66 is an engineering train early in the morning. So I'm absolutely talking out the wrong thing. So I got that wrong. Apologies. It is indeed an engineering train. Is that linked to East Coastway then, um, Michael? No, I think it is my Discord. I don't know quite why. I can't see anything coming up. But uh, I can't easily close it at the moment either. So, yeah, it is me. can't actually see a way of closing it right now so apologies we'll have to live with it and just learn for the next one right heading into Glasgow that's where our service terminates this is an interesting one so we've got uh, this signal here is actually for this train even though it's on the other side of the wall and so i queried that with the team and said are you sure and it absolutely is saw it in the cab ride videos see i think someone is now actually spamming me on discord just to uh, take the mickey now Quit it. Oops, hello. Got all the window sounds coming on tonight. Right, so we are coming up to the 20 limit. We're down in 25 limit now. Uh, uh, Instasim, Discord, uh, I'm running on multiple PCs, um, so Discord is running on on the, the same PC as the game, so it has no idea I'm streaming. Don't worry, Toaster Rail, I'm still here. I'm still here, you can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> Kian's transport for you is listening to Oasis while watching it. Wow, that's that is a good combo there. I think. Uh, us, someone asked. What, 
Someone asked what the B is. That means I'm in the B end cab. Uh, if you uh, shoot into this cab, um, then you'll find that this has got a little A on it. This is the A end cab. From that standard of driving, it's usually it's an F-Dax buggy. <laughs> He's turned. I knew it wouldn't last. Hey, Ari, how's it going? Would you show us the buttons you press in the cab? I'm not sure what you mean, my life. Which ones? I pressed a bunch of them in the stream. If you go back and watch the stream from the beginning, um, you should get an idea. Um, you've got the, mods, the... the mods are having some fun in Discord. That's what they're. That's what's happening. They're having, oh, some, they're having a little bit of fun. Is that what it is? In which case, mute. <laughs> there Bad. You go. <laughs> Kicked. Blumen mods. Yeah, so door release on the left, door release on the right, uh, pan up button, which also acts as MCB uh, close. You've got your headlights, uh, the foot for the foot warmer button does not work, I apologise. Uh, destination bo uh, board lights up the uh, this thing on the uh, on the top. Yeah, this thing. Um, this is the uh, high beams. Um, this is your uh, so the dimmer doesn't work. Indicator dimmer, which is the uh, the gauge lights essentially. Cab lights, uh, pan to craft down, uh, sander coupling, which you'll need in that scenario, uh, and the uncouple button, the master key, the reverser, the train brake, signal bell, horn, AWS wipers, and the brake. That's pretty much everything down here. Uh, you've got TPWS override uh, here, which you can use to uh, go through a red light if you need to, and you have permission to do so by the dispatcher. If you don't, it'll end the game there when you go past the red light. This will just stop the um, the train safety system slamming the brakes on. This is the door close button, which works. You can flap that around. You can turn the fan on and off. And there's a whole bunch more switches that just turn things on and off on the back here. Uh, the carriage lights are that one, lighting set, and the auxiliaries is that one. You can trip the lightning, turn the lights off. Guards key is what enables this panel over here to be used. You've got some breakers up here and safety systems are up here. Yeah, that's kind of it. Um, out there you've got the TPWS override as well, and you can obviously bring the seat down for extra joy. Let's get the door open. Got your DSD light here as well. And you can turn DSD off if you want to. Not sure why you'd want to. Uh, just don't use it. Um, you can open the door. Um, you can open this door. Go in and say hello to all the passengers that are wondering why you're not driving the train. <laughs> and that, that space invader has decided to sit in the middle of all of the seats rather than on the edge. Um... A quick, quick question about Rush Hour uh, from King Lego. Uh, we'll be able to buy Brighton Mainline without buying Rush Hour's Rush Hour package. Please explain. Um, so, uh, not 100% sure at this stage. Um, they will all be, whatever happens, they'll be the same price, I believe. Um, we're still trying to work out some of the finer details of how that will be packaged up. Um, but uh, when we have more on that, we'll let you know. There you go. Uh, do, so do passengers use the uh, enter the yellow area? No, it's considered part of the cab. Um, so you would need to have permission and, and be escorted. Uh, I think back in the darker in, in the darker slash lighter days, depending on your perspective, um, sometimes passengers did uh, were were let in there by the driver a little bit more freely. But these days, that 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 would be a no go. Um, okay, so let's go back to the main menu and quickly look at the scenarios and services again. Trent Alexander, we will not be doing nighttime tonight. We'll be doing it next week. Yeah. 
and we'll only do a brief bit light time because it doesn't stream very well but we'll show, show you a bit night time particularly because it will come up all right in, in glasgow pretty much the minute we come out of glasgow um if the stream won't be particularly fun to watch so uh we'll do a couple of stations at night time and then you can so you can see it but uh, yeah that'll be next time um uh, this scenario here by the way extra time this is the one to play if you want to see some pretty cool night time um that, that that one looks really nice that's set, set in the evening so scenarios you've got around and around 75 minutes that would be the longest one then so this is the one where you do the calf cart twice one in each direction uh extra time is the uh, football services that come up that way and then you deposit in that you bring the train into the into the shed uh divergent is a run from uh newton to sorry neilston to newton and back to glasgow uh due to a, a problem in the uh, junction here Collector is the one I was telling you about where you'll need to use your TPWS override um, if you've got TPWS enabled. If you don't have it enabled, then it's fine. Uh, that's the one you go and couple up to a train and bring it back to the depot. Mm -hmm. Drek Day is the um, uh, just bad weather service, Glasgow to Neilston. And then Pure Baltic is a Newton to Glasgow. Um, and you've got a bunch of stuff in front of you that's just not being nice. Um, so uh, that's the scenarios. Mm -hmm. Services. Um, so you've got the uh the 37 is on the rail tour uh the 20 from tees valley rail tour again uh the 31 is on the rail tour the 66 is on an engineering train so that's the ballast train with the wagons from east coastway um and 47 is rail tour again um from northern trans pennine uh, if you have none of these, if you don't have Tees Valley or East Coastway or NTP, what you get is a 314. Uh, on the 314, there are a wide range of services just going all over the route throughout the day. Um, so it's quite a regular service um, and uh, you should see plenty of trains as you're driving. Um, and that includes depot moves as well. There's Nielsen stock moves um, down here that uh, we, we set the trains back up again. Uh, or turn them round um, and then you've got the Shields Depot services into or out of the depot um, uh, at the beginning and end of the day um, so as you can see plenty going on uh, there okay so that I think that pretty much covers uh, covers everything we were going to cover doesn't it JD yeah I think we'll do not so we've got a little list in my head already nighttime livery next uh, other livery next week uh we will do the, i can't remember the branch that we didn't do but we'll do the other branch next week uh we've got quite a lot of things still to do which mm. is quite nice it means that uh we've got quite a lot to show next week but again um we have a forum thread that is now live on the suggestions forum uh if you want to go into that and ask us what, and tell us what you would like to see or ask any questions on there we'll try and make sure we collate as much as possible for for next week's stream um, but uh, as we said at the start, this is um, available to pre-order now on Steam. Get a 10% discount if you like what you see. If you want to wait and see what next week's stream has in store, then you are more than welcome to do so as well. Um, release date is June the 10th. Uh, and so that is two weeks ago. Well, two weeks yesterday. So uh, that will be Thursday the 10th of June. Sorry, trying to get my my head around the days of the week it doesn't feel like a friday <laughs> night if i'm being honest with you um but uh yeah thanks very much for everybody who watched thanks very much matt for driving tonight um it looks like a stunning route and i think we've covered quite a lot of ground there and by the looks of the chat a lot of people are very happy as well which is really nice to see um yes. and uh yeah i think i think there's a lot of scottish people in the chat also very very excited to be represented within train sim world 2 as well even if it's not necessarily their local route having the scottish route in there is obviously a, a, a big uh, a big well celebration let's say um and it happens i think we we launched about eight days before the england scotland game as well so we might have a little bit of rivalry there somewhere as well Sorry, I'm just bringing this up because people have spotted the change livery button and uh, are thinking that there's additional liveries. There are not. I'm not 100% sure what this additional one that is showing up. Whether that's a, uh, so I'm going to find out what this is. But no, there is only the Saltire Scott Rail livery. Um, so I just wanted to make that really, really clear. And that will not be changing for release as well. Awesome. Okay, well, cool. uh, on that note matt i will say goodbye to, to to you thanks very much for uh spending your friday night 
going through uh, going through the loco and the route with us um, really appreciate it thanks everybody for watching um, it's been a really great stream thanks for all of your questions thanks for all of your lovely comments in the chat as well um, it's always been a pleasure um, hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday night what's left of it um, and we will be back next week as a bank holiday on Monday next week so we'll be back with Ralph on TV on Tuesday next week I can't remember exactly what it is but I'm sure it's going to be great. Uh, <laughs> well, it's we will have another preview. Tuesday. Oh, it's roadmap, of course. Roadmap. Okay, so that we get the. So expect to see Cathcart appearing on that roadmap as well. Uh, and next uh, Thursday we'll do another preview of this stream uh, of this route too. So we yeah. hope we can see you then. See you next week. Enjoy anybody who's in Britain. Enjoy the bank holiday weekend. If you're not in Britain, enjoy your weekends anyway. Have a lovely one. Uh, Cheers, everyone. And, uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye bye.